In the beginning of the year, I was involved in a project called Co-op. It's a TV series produced by Missouri State University, and uh, this is its second season run. I was involved in the first season as well. I was only in charge of sound then, but this time I came back around and I'm in charge of cameras, lighting, sound, a little bit of systems. And right now in the summer, I'm teaching the post-production editing class. So uh, there's a lot of hats in there. A lot of the lighting setup, uh, if it's not in the studio stuff, it's actually my lights and I still use my lights in the studio stuff. So um, I kind of made a BTS of the setup and kind of the, the set of the show. And it was kind of rushed because um, I show up early every day, like maybe two hours early to set things up. And um, I got there the same time, but you know, usually by the time I'm done setting up, we are ready to kind of roll. So there really isn't much time that I have in between my setups where I can kind of relax. So. The video's kind of rushed and they'll shot my iPhone because it was real quick and it, it sounds ugly because my hands from holding the phone, the audio is pretty bad. But uh, I thought I'd show it to you guys and you know, just maybe it's worth something. Here's our set. Today is a pretty fun uh, theme, it's carnival. The ladder won't be there obviously. But then there are two rooms here. We got that button where you when you press it, it makes a sound. And these are the lights lighting it for each room. So we've got uh, eight lights um, pointing in this direction. And those lights are DMX. So we're running DMX IS and our first channel is our brightness. Our second channel is our color temp. These are co-op signs that I 3D printed for the show. Uh, our previous episode, it was a blue team. So we're gonna we switch out every color for each team color. So uh, today's episode is gonna be red. So the art department's gonna switch those blue to red. So each room has two PTZ cameras. There's one here, there's one there in this room. And the other room, there's one up there, and there's one up there. So this show was kind of created uh, through the eyes of kind of um, COVID. Uh, keeping it social distancing. So uh, we just had camera operators over there uh, control the PTZ cameras and stuff like that. So here's the view for the PTZ cameras. So this is for that room over there and this controls that room over there. These are the controllers. So if I move one of these, so you can, I'm controlling camera seven right now uh, with the joystick. If I zoom in, I turn, I zoom in and out. And right now that's not being seen. We connect wireless monitors here. So the two uh, camera ops can see what camera one and camera two is viewing. So they don't create the same type of frame for um, a control room. So we have, so we have different like different uh, shots to use for in post. So this is our fourth camera. It's literally right in between the walls of the two rooms. So this guy, this camera operator just looks what's down here. So we'll get like much closer shots and can get more detailed stuff and the camera or the director can tell them what to do. Here's a view of camera four from the back end. The, ca uh, the camera operator steps on the Apple box and he can control everything he needs over here. It's sending SDI out to the control room in the other room. Here are three floor cams. So here's camera one, two, and three. Camera one is designated to this room. Camera two to this room. And camera three is designated to the green screen. So our top-down camera, we've got my ADD connected Arca Swiss plate, one of ball heads here. And this is a Mayfair clamp with a spigot, a 3 8 spigot. And so since the ADD doesn't have clean HDMI out, I need to make sure my info is off before I plug in my HDMI. Because once I plug it in, which this is hard to do with one hand, once I plug it in, you see no screen. So I have to make sure my frame and everything is correct before I plug it in. The HDMI out is going to an HDMI to SDI converter and that's being sent to the control room. So we're using GoBots for this show. 
Uh, I bought these window screen bubbles for the Lico Source 4 lights, which is right there. And uh, I didn't know we only needed one. So I bought two and then now we just have one that's just kind of hanging around. So, but uh, these are pretty cool though. The director wanted specifically these, not exactly the round part here. So we just used the blaze to kind of cut it off and it looks pretty good. So our lighting green screen, um, for the green screen itself, it's just these, um, what's the KW2s? And those are just lighting the green screen. And then for the subject, we are using the Godox SL100 by here, daylight 100%. And here's the Godox SL60W, and that is 100% also. And that's just running China Ball. So we're trying to run kind of a smooth, not smooth, uh, even type lighting for our host, which is gonna be in the green screen the whole time. I am running wireless boom for the host. That is the Rode NT5. That's run through the boom pole here into the sound devices MM1. And that's going through negative 30 dB pad being sent out to my G3 transmitter. And just run into my, my bag. Here's a control room. So I won't be in here. So what I'm doing is I'm just sending a signal to input one and that just goes into the computer. And then the, the TD, she will adjust everything what we need to do and keep it simple like that. And over here we got like the switcher. It's all digi digital now and stuff like that. And um, we even have a digital um, audio setup, which um, <laughs> it has complicated a lot of things for us, but uh, it's okay though. So here's our diary room setup. We have an SL100 by from Godox with a softbox. We're using honeycombs. We have on each side two Godox TL30 tube lights. And uh, this is set to red over here and blue over here because our team is currently gonna be red. We've got a bounce, we've got a backlight, and here are two cameras, which these aren't properly placed accordingly to where we needed to, but this is it. It's a very simple setup. We moved all the class desks over there so we have space over here and then on the backdrop over here uh, we have more of my 3d printed letters for co-op in this case it's white so um, that just stays there but that's the setup for the diary room